Hi there, welcome to another laser lamps installation video. My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be doing an install on this 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Track. We're going to be fitting our integration kit with the Triple R750 standard lamps. These incorporate a position light and the customer has decided to go for the amber position light. So I'll be showing you how to select uh, the amber position light on the lamp. We're going to go through the cutting guides, specifically where they're placed on the grill. And then we're going to be showing you how to mount the lamp and how to tackle the wiring. So let's crack on with the job. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put cutting guides number two and three in place and then cut the grill. Once you've cut through the grill, next thing you're going to need to do is to remove the grill. To take the grill off of the vehicle, you're going to need to remove the top plastic rivets. There's a number of these across the top. And then once you've done that, you're going to need your plastic trim tool to unclip the clips at the side of the grill and also at the bottom. Once you've removed the grill off of the vehicle, you'll then need to turn it over and you'll see on the underside there are eight T25 screws. These need to be taken off so that the fascia can be removed. You'll notice that behind the lamp there is a little piece of plastic. We've opted to cut this, but you could actually remove it if you wish. Once you've removed the eight screws and the trim has been taken off, you'll then be able to see where to put cutting guide number one and cutting guide number four. And this part can be a little bit tricky, but with a bit of patience, you'll be able to manage it no problem. Okay, next we need to select the correct color for position light. Now this customer has opted to go for amber, so we need to pop the orange wire here, just into the plug. This will ensure that the amber position lights are selected. Uh, if you do want the white position light, you would put the green into the plug. So next thing we need to do is remove the sticker on the end cap and just attach the brackets themselves. If you look inside of the grill mount itself, it will have a code stamp on it. We have left hand inboard and left hand outboard, right hand inboard and right hand outboard. First thing we need to do is to put our inboard brackets on first. They clip in behind the grill, and then when you push the lamp back, it should be a nice snug fit. We then need to drill a 3.5 mil hole, and then pop our security screws in, which are included in with the kit. We position ours just above 90 degrees. However, you may want to have your light facing a little bit up or a little bit down, depending on your preference. Okay, so we've installed the lamps into the grill. Next thing to do is to tackle the wiring. We've positioned our relay here off of a factory bolt. Next door to that bolt, we've positioned our earth. We've cleaned off all of the paint so that it's a nice, fresh earth connection. Moving on from there, we've taken our permanent live off of the battery. We've taken our high beam trigger for the relay off of the headlamp plug. This is a gray wire with a brown trace. We've then ran wires into the vehicle through the factory grommet uh, and on the dashboard for the driver's benefit we've got a switch which will isolate the high beam and then we've also wired the position lights to an ignition source so whenever the ignition is turned on our position lights come on okay so that concludes our installation video for the ford ranger grill kit hope you guys found it informative and interesting don't forget to check out our other installation videos that we have available on youtube and on our website and as always be sure to check us out on social media. Thank you for watching.